Alcohols are formed in two ways. The first reaction for formation of alcohols is uh, the hydration hydration of alkenes. So that's your first reaction in which alcohols are formed. We've already uh, studied this reaction. We've already studied this reaction when we were when we were uh, studying alkenes. Now, hydration of alkenes is an addition reaction in which an alkene. Uh, you let's uh, take the simplest. Uh, let's think of propene first. So you take an alkene. Propene has three carbon atoms, and there's going to be a double bond, um, a carbon double bond carbon. Uh, this carbon needs one more hydrogen, and that's it. So all the bonds are complete. Each carbon atom is making four bonds. And in this reaction, uh, propene is going to react with water, H2O. And as in all addition reactions, what happens is that uh, the carbon double bond carbon gets converted into a carbon single bond carbon. I'm going to redraw propene, uh, except for the fact that there is not going to be a double bond instead i'm going to draw a single bond and if you look carefully uh, these two carbon atoms have incomplete bonds if i replace the double bond with a single bond these both these carbon atoms are now making uh, they're just making uh, uh, three bonds right now they're supposed to make four bonds so they make the fourth bond with uh, H2O breaks up this H2O molecule it ends up breaking up into H and OH. One H gets bonded to one of the carbon atoms and the OH part gets bonded to the other carbon atom and that's how an alcohol is formed and the conditions for this reaction were that you needed a, a phosphoric acid catalyst H3PO4 was required as a catalyst. Plus, um, you uh, the pressure for this reaction was 60 atmospheres. And the temperature for this reaction was 300 degrees Celsius centigrade. That's the temperature for this particular reaction. That's uh, the formation of alcohols uh, by hydration of alkenes. The second type of reaction for making alcohols is by fermentation of glucose. Now um, fermentation is the process where glucose which is naturally obtained. Glucose, the formula for glucose is C6H12O6. Uh, this is a process where you, uh, which is generally used to make alcohols or most of the wines and beers are made using this process. Glucose is naturally obtained from uh, different uh, plants. Uh, it could be sugar cane, it could be barley, maize, it could be, um, it could be obtained from grapes as well. So uh, glucose is naturally obtained from different foods. So this is glucose. And this is broken down. And when it is broken down, it breaks up and it uh, and that process is known as fermentation and it's broken down and it produces ethanol C2H5 OH and carbon dioxide. And there will be two molecules of each produced in this reaction if you balance this equation. So uh, an, an alcohol is produced specifically ethanol is produced and carbon dioxide gas is also produced. Now what is required for the process is that uh, one essential component required for this process is yeast. Yeast is a biological substance which produces an enzyme. So it produces, it's used to produce It produces an enzyme which basically um, 
uh, catalyzes this reaction enzymes are biological catalysts so one problem of using yeast is that you would have to do this reaction uh, bit at room temperature specifically so the best suited temperatures are around 25 to 35 degrees centigrade the reason is that at lower temperatures if you use a lower temperature so at at lower temperature the enzyme or yeast would be inactive it's a biological substance and at higher temperatures since biological substances only uh, function well at certain substance uh, certain temperatures at lower temperatures the yeast would be inactive and at higher temperatures uh, the enzyme would get denatured or in simple words it would get killed so enzyme gets denatured or broken down so the reason for using this particular temperature is that uh, the enzyme is going to work best at these particular temperatures and lastly the last point that needs to be taken care of is that there should be no air present so there should be an absence of air this entire process is done in the absence of air or specifically oxygen and the reason why we uh, we avoid air is that the alcohol produced is going to get oxidized if air is present. Um, so in the presence of air, the alcohol might get oxidized. In the presence of air, the alcohol produced gets oxidized to a carboxylic acid so we must uh, avoid air as well so whenever alcohol is produced it's uh, it's uh, uh, there shouldn't be any absence of air the temperature used is around 25 to 35 degrees centigrade and yeast is required which produces an enzyme which facilitates the breakdown of glucose to ethanol and uh, the temperatures at, at lower temperatures this reaction would be very slow and at higher temperatures this reaction would also be very slow so you get questions about the temperature a lot and they also give you a graph in which uh, they might uh, show that let me draw a graph so this axis represents the speed of the reaction or the formation of ethanol this axis over here represents uh, temperature and the graph would look something like this it would uh, it would rise to a maximum and then it's going to the speed of the reaction would slow down and it would be somewhere around this particular mark between 25 degrees cent centigrade and 35 degrees centigrade would the reaction be fastest and it would be slow at high temperatures and would be slow at low temperatures as well. So that's uh, the fermentation of alcohols.